Hello and welcome to this Come to Jesus Daily devotional. Currently we're in the book of Jonah. Today's meditation is entitled Jonah Obeyed and Went. Let's read from Jonah 3, 1 to 3. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim to it the message I give you. Jonah obeyed the word of the Lord and went to Nineveh. Now Nineveh was a very large city. It took three days to go through it. In summary, repentance will be seen in how we live. I find Jesus' parable of the two sons very challenging. In Matthew 21, 28 to 31, we read, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered, but later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two sons did what the father wanted? This is worth meditating on, isn't it? This just summarises what we're reading in, in Jonah so well. Jonah is saying no, but he is turning now, isn't he, to say yes. And this story summarises many of us. We say no, but then we do what we said no to. Or we say yes, and then we don't do it. I know that uh, I often will, will, will immediately say no, no, I'm not doing that, but then go away and my conscience works on me and I change direction. I'm sure that's true of you as well, and I hope it's true of us as we go through this story of Jonah and as God wants to speak to us about maybe changing direction regarding the mission that we're called to. It's wonderful to know that God is patient with me and forgives me and doesn't give up on me. However, he also wants me to obey him and go to my Nineveh to say yes to his mission. Repentance means changing our mind in direction. In Psalm 119, we see the process of repentance in a nutshell. In verse, verse 59 of Psalm 119, we read, I have considered my ways and have turned my steps toward your statutes. That's so well put, isn't it? It's worth saying again. I have considered my ways and have turned my steps to your statutes. True repentance is demonstrated through change. Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians 7.10 that godly sorrow brings repentance. Not just feeling sorry for ourselves, that's not repentance. Crying isn't repentance. Feeling bad isn't repentance. Now, we live in a world that gives people honour if they cry or are sad or weep. But God honours those who not only feel sorrowful, but then repent, change direction. For Jonah, repentance involved changing direction towards Nineveh, running towards rather than away from his mission. For us, true repentance in regards to mission means being prayerful, ready, proactive in sharing our faith in the communities that God has put us into. So in response, when do you repent? The Lord's Prayer teaches us to include forgive us our debts. I like to say the Lord's Prayer every morning and think it through briefly every day. I found that a really helpful practice. It reminds us of so many aspects of prayer, of a, a rounded prayer diet, 
but it reminds us to ask for forgiveness of our sins. I know that I need to be reminded to ask for forgiveness. And I, I need to be reminded to repent each day. Specifically, do we need to repent in regards to our involvement in sharing the gospel? Do we need to repent of fear, of shame, of distraction, etc.? Are we sharing our faith, faith with others? I know I've got a long way to go. May it be said of us, may it be said of me, insert your name, but may it be said of me, Matt obeyed and went. Insert your name, obeyed and went. God bless you.